up guys it's an engineer here today i had to talk about disney has officially bought fox and and they've announced this this morning and it means that the x-men and the fantastic four will finally go back to marvel and i'm very excited about this yes and so is uh i'm very curious to see what they do with the x-men fantastic four and i you know the main reason that disney wanted to buy fox was so they could get content for their streaming service but but we found out that uh but but it's this is all part of that was so they could get x-men and fantastic four now i think there are two possibilities one they integrate the x-men into the mcu or they use the streaming service to make x-men tv shows now one, one thing we don't know what's really going on is what's going to happen with gotham because gotham is on fox and i'm not sure if fox has a license for gotham do they own the tv rights for gotham because they they can't just sell the tv rights for batman if they just have a license so but if they do have the rights, then that means Disney also owns the TV rights for Batman as well. So that's that's interesting. I'm curious to see what comes with all that. But it has been confirmed that the Fantastic Four it does it does come with the deal. And uh they have the rights to Planet of the Apes, Avatar, a bunch of other movies that Fox has. And but the, a lot of the big takeaway is that you know, X Men and Fantastic Four are coming back to Marvel. As far as when we'll see, you know, the X Men in the MCU, it, it could probably be a couple years before we actually see that, at least. So, but, but, well, some people think they might just create like a separate shared universe for the X Men, but I, I think if, if I were to put money on it, I'd say they put, they just put it in the MCU. But, yeah, overall, I'm really, I'm very excited, and it's it's a good day. We've been hearing about this for a while now, and people will want this to happen even before. You know, was, they they were able to share the rights for Spider-Man with Sony. It's just it's been a long time coming, and you know, I'm very curious what's gonna happen with the X-Men franchise. Are they? Because we know, because the the three new X-Men movies that are coming out next year are happening. They've already been shot, so they're happening. But uh, X-Men, uh, New Mutants, Deadpool 2, and Dark Phoenix. But what's going to happen with Deadpool 3, Gambit? Uh, maybe they somehow integrate them into the MCU, but I don't know. And, but, but yeah, overall, this is very good news. I mean, I know a lot of people don't really want the x-men mc would want disney to have fox because it's less movies that comes out every year and disney would most likely not do r-rated material you will probably won't see r-rated deadpool or r-rated logan so that's probably why some people might not want to see it but overall i'm happy i'm happy and we don't know really what's going on with this so I'm very curious to see what they put on the streaming service, though. I'm very curious to see what they do with that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this, this news. Are you guys excited about it? Are you guys don't like it at all? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, so share this video, and subscribe. Peace.